talking in my sleep at night, making my This is me with my mum when I was out clubbing when I was um let me see or oh, twenty two, twenty three. So quite a while ago now. Um Definitely an interesting style, definitely a clubbing style. Loads of bronzer because I wanted to be tanned back then because it, I just thought it was appalling to have such pale skin and now I couldn't be any further from that. I absolutely embrace it but I really like how I look here. My lips look amazing, they've never looked that thick. I don't know what I did there but I look happy and healthy and I was a really good weight back then. And actually, I was I was really single, actually, re really, really single. Um, and here I am on Valentine's Day, birthday weekend, out with my mum. Um, and actually, it was a really wonderful night, but I really like how I look. So that was me, 22, 23. This is me with my dad on my wedding day. I don't like my makeup. Um, I don't look particularly like how I look. I really had to rush my makeup. I made the mistake, as a makeup artist, of doing everybody's. Um, I don't know that it was a bad thing, but I maybe should have taken a bit more time to include everybody and uh, it definitely did for myself enough time. So that was me at 29, um, so a lot of Chanel, a lot of Bobbi Brown going on there. Um, I was going for a fairly natural look, but it was winter so I needed, needed a little bit more. And there we are together. So I think, all in all, it looks better in black and white, all in all, actually came together. And I don't think my makeup was very unlike Kate Middleton. Hello and welcome back. Um, today I'm going to do my birthday makeup. So it was my birthday last week, um, just after Valentine's Day. Um, but I've been feeling, as you know, really under the weather, really poorly. So actually we didn't do very much at all. We're actually not going to go out um, and do things with my friends and family until the end of the month. But we are going to have a quiet dinner. Just me and Mike. So I want to show you guys. Um, this is 35. So yes, I'm 35. I've had weird feelings about this birthday for a while. I, I definitely wasn't... It's the first birthday I've ever... Even 30, even more so than 30. This is the first birthday that I really wasn't sure about turning uh, yeah I've got to admit a lot bit of negativity there I wasn't quite sure how I felt about it made peace with it I'm 35 you just got to get on and do it so there you go and also I've realized that's five more years until I'm 40 and then I can just start worrying about that then even though that's not old either I think there's lots of things just because we're trying for a family and I know a lot of IVF um, cutoffs are 35 so I've had a bit of a week of feeling a bit down about being 35 and actually today I'm feeling a bit more perky about it. I think it's probably just being poorly. Um, I'm 35, how wonderful is that? 35 years on this planet um, and hopefully many, many more. So I'm just going to embrace it from now on. Um, and I've been thinking about it all week. Anything changes at 35? I suppose my makeup changed a bit throughout my 20s um, so I went from wearing absolutely nothing at all around my 19th birthday 18th 19th uh, I had absolutely didn't know it back then but I had absolutely gorgeous skin um, didn't really need any foundation which my mum very quickly pointed out and um, so really I, it was a lick of mascara I was really obsessed with um, eyeliner and I really liked people like Gwen Stefani who, she did look, there were times where she was wearing a lot of makeup and times where she wasn't. Um, and I'm set, I re, that's what I always wanted, the flick, the feline flick, that beautiful flawless skin and a gorgeous red lip. And, but I was a bit too scared to try and pull it off back then. Um, and then at 20 I started with Clinique and obviously had to start wearing a little bit more makeup and maybe started wearing a bit too much makeup so like that picture that I just showed you from like my 22nd birthday um, I was wearing bronzer but you know I was still learning and it was probably a little bit too orange for me I didn't really know about sort of uh, 
orange pig pigments in bronzers and things so I just thought the more the better because it'll make me look like I've got a tan. Now the one thing I really haven't ever done is fake tanned. I'm willing to give it a go this summer for um, some of the hen parties that I'm doing. Whoop, whoop. Um, just to more for my body to look nice so I'm going to give it a go so if you've got any recommendations for fake tan in the Hampshire UK area drop a comment down below I'd be really grateful for that thank you um, and then sort of by about mid 25 I really hit my stride with my makeup I think and it was all about a really flawless base good eyebrows loads of mascara loads of eyeliner probably about then found my obsession with glitter glitter eyeshadows um, I wasn't really a blusher fan until much later on and um, probably gave up the bronzer as well so probably just a bit of highlight and usually just glossy 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 lips um, and then for my wedding I sort of stepped it up a bit and it was all about Chanel and I probably started trying upper end cosmetics for the first time uh, which I got treated to for my wedding and that's where I fell in love with Bobbi Brown that's the first time I tried um, their cosmetics. My first shimmer brick, it was a platinum edition, platinum pink shimmer brick, and I still have it. I can't bear to throw it away, and I still love it to bits. Um, and that's when I sort of maybe started wearing a little bit more, maybe a bit heavier foundation. And that's probably around the age of 29 when I got married that I started noticing um, that I had little broken veins and, and areas that and a bit more high colour that I needed to cover up. So I started wearing actual foundation rather than just tinted moisturiser. I've always worn a sunscreen, so hopefully, and basically my whole life I've invested in skincare. And you know, I keep saying this to you over and over again, but makeup is only as good as the skin underneath it. And still to this day, I'm obsessed with skincare. So I just think it's the way forward. Um, currently I'm using mostly Bobbi Brown. I've got a bit of Clinique thrown in there. Um, using a bit of Kiehl's. So I'm just, I'm still, I'll never fall out of love with skincare. Uh, how can you? It's just amazing. There's always new things to try and just the way it makes your skin feel. So today I have put on um, hydrating face cream from Bobbi and their hydrating eye cream, a little bit of the illuminating face balm, a little bit of vitamin rich face balm just because it's a really good primer. Um, and I think that's about it. I've kept it really simple today. Oh, I started with the treatment lotion just to give a real hydration boost. And as you can see, nice and hydrated and a lovely glow. And actually I could quite happily walk around all day like this and I do most days just because it feels so comfortable. have to apologise for my hair. Now that is the thing about turning 35. I have mucho mucho grey hairs. It seems to have just happened all of a sudden. Not sure if it's the stress or being ill or maybe it's genetic. Uh, yeah. Definitely hasn't added to the woo 35 feeling. Um, so yes, grey hairs have sprung and I need to, I'm going to the sun next week, finally, since I haven't had my hair done since December so it'll be really fun to get that done and uh, get down to scruples and get my hair fixed and pampered and just have a bit of a, a girly beauty day pamper session I think. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with my hair, I need to change it up I think. Um, so yeah, hair next week and hopefully eyebrows next week too because they are just shocking as well. So I do apologise about that. So how are you guys? Did you have a wonderful Valentine's Day? I hope you did. I hope you were treated. Um, we had a really quiet one, as I said. We just had some friends around and had a really nice um, Marks and Spencer dine-in dinner, um, which Mark Mike helped me cook, which was really, really nice. It was just nice and quiet, and he spoiled me rotten with beautiful red roses and a little set of earrings from Pandora and then for my birthday he got me a Pandora necklace and a Pandora bracelet which is something now I know everyone's had a Pandora bracelet for like forever I haven't had one ever so it was the biggest surprise and the most lovely surprise because I'll show it to you later he chose the charms himself um, it's an eternal love bracelet so it already had a charm on it saying I love you and then he chose the charms uh, you and me and my beautiful wife on one side and then on the other side it said forever and always. Now our little sayings to each other are me and you, just us two and the cat <laughs> from Sex and the City and we've always said that to each other and always and forever was our quote from the wedding which I have up behind me. Let me just show you that. 
So yeah, always and forever, Mr. and Mrs. Logan, 29th of December, 2012. So he bought me the most, um, so they're kind of a little bit round the wrong way, but perfect for us as well and really personal and I was just over the moon with that gift. Um, really, really special. So actually, and he made me breakfast in bed, he made me little heart shapes. Um, if, so if you've seen the vlog, you'll be able to catch that on there. Uh, little smoked trout hearts with a duck egg, which is my, my favourite birthday, which is my favourite breakfast. So um, all in all, you know, I wasn't able to drink or anything, so no real Prosecco or anything that I would normally do. Um, but he made it so much better and made it really nice despite the fact that I was really poorly. Always text me when I start filming. This is 35, so this makeup, I want it to be fresh, pretty and uh, reflective of the season, so spring has sprung. It's blue skies outside, daffodils on the table and isn't it wonderful? Everything, I love everything about spring, from bluebells to tulips to daffodils, spring is just life. It is just life. I want Easter eggs. Yeah, it's actually Lent at the minute, so no chocolate. Uh, yes, so really simple, really pretty. Let's go. So I'm going to start with um, a little bit of correcting. So I'm going to use my trusty BBU palette. Now, I don't know if any of you have seen, but actually the Bobbi Brown Pro Store and the studios have got them for something like crazy, like 50% off, maybe even more than that the lip palette and these, but I know they're flying out really quickly, so if you want one, go and get them. So if you haven't seen it before, that is the BBU palette, that's all of the correctors and concealers, so really handy if you're a makeup artist, or if you just, uh, like me, use different things. And all of the stick foundations, so very, very handy, rather than carrying lots of things around in your kit. I'm gonna have to check my message. Phone's upstairs, on my way home. It's gonna interrupt me. Uh -uh. Right, so, correct and conceal. I'm going to use quite bad dark circles under my eyes at the moment. So I'm going to go in with um, a little bit of light bisque. Just with my finger. So I've already put eye cream on right into the corner. and just pat it in, go right up to the lash line. Already brightened, already. No dark circles, best product ever. Um, okay, so in with concealer and I'm gonna go with uh, porcelain, because I'm a little bit paler these days. Normally I go one shade lighter, so I'm actually porcelain in foundation at the minute. Normally I would go for an ivory concealer, but uh, I need it to brighten. So I'm doing this, and as you can see, that has worked on those dark circles a treat. So anywhere else that just needs a little bit of concealing, and I'm going to use um, porcelain again. Just here. Where I've got polycystic ovaries, I get a little bit of dark hair, so that just covers that, and these little broken veins, and a little, couple of little spots that I've got going on at the minute. Okay, just use a beauty blender to blend that in. Next I'm going to use something very exciting, it's the brand new Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation from Bobbi Brown. Um, full cover, oil free, shine control. Not normally something I would wear. I've tried the the full cover from Bobby in the past. Way too much for me. Um, I mean, I'm a double wear girl. Have been for a really long time until I started at Bobby, and I've been converted by Bobby's Stick Foundation and the Cushion Compact and the Skin Foundation because usually that's enough for me. And I'm also really loving Nars Sheer Glow at the minute. Uh, but I thought, you know what? And also, I love a dewy glow. So this is really not for me as a matte but it has been so hyped up and I've seen the pro girls talking about it so much and seen them demonstrate it 
and it just looks amazing so I thought I have to try it so I have got skin longwear weightless foundation in porcelain so just to start I'm gonna pop it onto a beauty blender not actually a beauty blender not sure who this is from where this is from and just take it everywhere Now that's blended in, I'm going to use my full cover foundation brush by Bobbi just to blend even more. Okay, so foundation done, and that is absolutely what it says on the tin. It is flawless. I actually like the way the way that it feels is really comforting. Um, it feels really light. I really like that. So yay! Big thumbs up to that. Next, I'm going to use a eyeshadow primer I'm going to use an old favourite which is Stay Don't Stray by Benefit across the lid and under the brow a little bit under here just to set you can see that later Next I'm going to set everything with a little bit of a powder and I'm going to use a uh, Bobbi Brightening Finish Powder in Brightening Finishing Powder in Porcelain Pearl. So just on a uh, bronzer brush from Real Techniques. Don't get a lot of shine but this will just help to set it perfect next brows and I'm loving selfie sculpt by Tanya Burr cosmetics um, obviously a lot of companies have got one like this but this is absolutely just works for me so usual pen shape with a slanted edge and I just start by I'm on the table so this is a bit difficult start by drawing a line where I want it to start, turn over and it's all about lines so a straight line through the brow, a straight line under the brow, then you can start filling in the sparse areas You want to just use those lines as markers and then fill in. Nice soft feathery strokes and then your final line is your tail line, nice and gentle. See the difference, Connie? Much better. And take the little spoolie end and just comb through. So obviously not the best brows ever because they need doing. And then just sweep away any excess that you don't want. Brows done. Okay, so a little bit of bronze and blush. I'm going to use. Okay, so to bronze and blush, I'm going to use the NARS um, Blush Bronzer Duo, and I'm going to use Orgasm Blush and Laguna Bronzing Powder. I'm just going to take my Bobbi bronzing brush and just take a little bit of the bronzer just under the cheekbone on each side. Oh, that's a bit too much. A little bit higher up. Oh, whoops! 
a little bit all over, down the nose, and just buffing that area on the cheekbones. Nice little bit of shape and definition. Next I'm going to use the blush. Actually, no I'm not. First of all I'm going to use uh, Pop Rouge by Bobbi Brown in pale pink. The cream blush first. I'm going to use Stippling Brush by Real Techniques and just take a small amount on the brush. Take off the excess on my hand and then find the apple of the cheek. On both sides and just pat it in, basically. And then smooth it out. Go back to my Laguna. Sorry. Go back to Orgasm with a Real Techniques uh, contour brush, but I like it for blush blush. And just take it above where you put the cream blush, just for a pop of colour. I actually want quite a bit of colour for this, so I'm going to go quite, quite blushy and then just blend it down. Happy with that. Next, I'm going to use a little bit of highlighter and I'm going to use the brand new uh, Bobbi Brown Opal Glow Highlighter. I'm going to use the angled face brush from Bobbi. It's so pretty. It's just not as in your face as some of the others. I love it. I'll just sweep that across cheekbones down the nose across the eyelids a little bit across the forehead small amount on the cupid's bow really nice glow but not too heavy. Next I'm going to use a tiny bit of Shimmer Brick in Rose by Bobbi. And this is where you're just going to get a little bit more colour and depth. Small amount and just sweep that across because I want a really fresh pinky spring like vibe. Done. Okay so we've already got eye primer on. I'm going to use a long wear cream shadow stick in Sand Dune from Bobbi. These are just amazing for long wear. They also create a great base I find. Brilliant if you need quick on the go makeup. You just sweep that across the eyelid and pat it in if you need to. Right up to the lash line, and I'm going to take this under the lash line rather than using powder on the bottom. And because it's long wear, that will stay. Next, I'm going to use. Uh, next, I'm going to use Shimmer Wash Eyeshadow in Rose Gold from Bobbi, and it's one of my absolute favourite colours. It's so pretty little bit of iridescence but not at all sparkly. Just take that onto a brush and then just pat that on top of the lid. Until you keep building until you get the colour. And take whatever's left on the brush just under the lash line and that is um, an angled eyeshadow brush from Bobbi. I 
actually not going to put anything in my crease today. I'm just going to leave it fairly neutral, I think. Yeah. Actually, no. What I'm going to do, because I've got it here, is I'm going to use the Laguna bronzer from NARS on the same angled brush. So it's a really good brown. And it will go with this quite well and just take that into the crease actually. Yes, that's perfect. Just give us a little bit of definition. Now the face powder that I used earlier, um, they have a lovely, the porcelain pearl has a lovely white shimmery powder at the top. So I'm just going to use a little bit of that under the brow area just to highlight. Just enough. Okay, next I'm going to use the Estee Edit. Uh, this is new for me. It's probably not not new, but uh, new for me. The Estee Edit uh, Blackest Liner, and it's a chunky pen, which I was really excited by. Um, I love this type of pen, and it's uh, I think L'Oreal. Or was it Revlon? I think it might be L'Oreal Revlon. I used to do one that, that I used to have like this. So I haven't had this for a while. Just means not faffing around with brushes, so it's great. So I'm just going to start close to the lash line. I work my way across. Very easy to control. Great for beginners. Sweeping that across the lid. Right next to the lash line, and there you go. It looks like we've got instant lashes. And same on the other eye. That's really helped to lift the eyes, hasn't it? Okay, so for the flick, I'm literally going to keep the eye open, go to the corner of my eye, and draw a line upwards. And keep it that simple. You could join it and make it fatter and longer and things like that, but just for a really pretty, fluttery flick, I'm just going to keep it simple. So just go keep the eyes open, go to the corner of the eye, match up to the line, and just draw up. Next, a little bit of perfectly defined gel liner from Bobby in uh, pitch black. I'm just going to take that on the bottom of my lash line. And up the top of the waterline on the top lashes. Actually, Loving my eye opening mascara by Bobby, but I have sadly run out. Not payday till the end of next week, so I have to get that then, but I'm literally I'm in mourning for it. I miss it every day. Um so last sensational mascara, lash multiplying mascara by Maybelline is my drugstore all-time fave. So I've got one of those, so I'm gonna use that. Lovely little brush for definition. If I was going out, out tonight, I would be using some eyelaw false eyelashes, but I'm not, so a bit of mascara should do fine. This Mascara just does not clump at all, it's wonderful. And you can, if you like a lot of layers like me, you can keep going. But what I would say is, once you've got a nice shape, 
to all of the lashes. Come away for a second and let it dry before you add another coat. But you can really see the difference there. I'm not great yet. There we go. And I am going to do my bottom lashes, so just gently now, don't put any more mascara on the wand, just gently start at the outer side and work your way in. And just work that way. And use what's last on the on, left on the brush on the, these last small ones here. There we go, eyes done. Last but not least, I'm going to use a little bit of Stiller uh, Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow, and that is in my favourite Kitten Karma, which is a gorgeous bronzy colour. I use this for a lot of brides, and I need to get another one. Oh. Okay, I'm just going to take that just on the lid to just a small line there. let that dry for a second because I'm just going to touch up the eyeliner. Right, lips. I've forgotten to bring a lip liner down so I'll have to add that later. I'm going to use my Bobbi uh, Crazy for Colour lip palette which I got in the autumn which is still one of my faves and I'm going to use Hot Tutu lip colour which I haven't used a lot but I really like. So Hot Tutu. Normally Sand Wash Pink is like my go-to lip colour and these ones I'm working around getting to. This one's going to be more summery. This one's a little bit more wintry. So hot tutu, beautiful bright pink. It's vibrant, very spring-like, which reminds me of a, a bobby lip colour I used to really love called spring pink, I think it was. I'm not sure if they still do that. and I will lip line later. So I've really gone bright nude on the eyes, bright on the lips. So just to finish, where's my eyeliner gone? There it is. Just to finish, top up your eyeliner again. But be really careful. So I've increased my flick a little bit. I decided that it needed a little bit more Amy Winehouse. So there it is guys. This is 35, makeup done. So just really kept it nice and casual. Um, it's all about a flawless base. Lovely little bit of highlight there. This opal glow is literally to die for. I just couldn't live without that now. But it's just not too much, I love that. So flawless base with the Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation. A Little bit of opal glow highlighter. Love, love, loving um, neutral colours like rose gold eyeshadow. Little bit of glitter with the Stiller Precious Metals Kit and Karma. Beautiful lashes with Maybelline Last Sensational. Um, and this is just wonderful. So easy to use. The blackest liner by the Estee Edit. Really, really impressed. I really like that. It's quick, quick and easy to do, especially if you're on the go. Um, and Bobbi lipstick in Hot Tutu. Not even gonna add a gloss, but just because I like the vibrancy of it. Um, really like that it's quite springy and fresh and it just pops color. And of course, the NARS Orgasm Blush and Laguna Bronzer, which we've used on the eyes as well. And the Tonya Burr T-Bear Cosmetics Selfie Sculpt Eyebrow Pen. pen. 
I think, I don't know what else it's called. Eyebrow pen, I really like it. Um, and that is it guys, so this is me, this is 35, and I've decided I'm gonna rock 35, so, you know, let's make it a good year. If there's any videos that you'd like to see this year, then please comment down below. I'm happy to try anything, give anything a go. Um, lots of new makeup coming out soon, some really exciting, something very exciting coming from Bobbi Brown, which I just can't wait to show you guys. Um, and I'll be doing quite a few more skincare videos to update my skincare routine as well some hauls coming so it's all going to be really really exciting and now I'm feeling a little bit better hopefully I'll be able to get a little bit more content and a few more videos up um, heading into the spring so thanks for watching guys and hello to my new uh, subscribers thank you so much that's made my week that has a couple more lovely a couple more that's brilliant so I think I'm nearly at 40 now obviously a way to go but it's not about the amount is it it's about the quality what is it they say it's not about the quantity, it's about the quality, and I'm sure every single one of you is amazing. Thank you, really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, guys. So this is my birthday makeup done. I hope you liked it. Um, give it a go. Get out there and create some fresh spring makeup with pinky tones, pink and peachy and pastels and all of the beautiful colours of spring. Oh, spring is just amazing for makeup and everything else. So thanks so much, and I will see you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Don't forget, you guys, if you want to follow me on Instagram, it's Daniela underscore Logan underscore makeup. Uh, might be changing the name soon, not quite sure, but for now, that's what it is. And on Twitter, it is Monty Logan MUA. Yes, I know, I've got some crazy long names. <laughs> Blame the parents. Um, so, yeah, if you'd like to, so if you'd like to follow me, um, that's where I'm at. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.